This is Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com in the Iron Asylum with Dylan Armbrust. We're here at Armbrust Pro Gym in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. And I just want to say uh, welcome to the Iron Asylum, uh, Dylan. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, thanks for, uh, you know, I've been hearing a lot about your uh, crazy leg workouts you guys do up there in, uh, in your gym, but a million miles above sea level there. Uh, and I had to get a little bit of taste of it here. And I wanted to show some of our viewers exactly how you guys train up there in Colorado because, you know what, I've heard a lot of good things about your gym. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're trying the best we can, you know, in a market that's flooded with a lot of, you know, big corporations. But I, I think we're doing well, and people are seem to be catching on and liking what we're doing. How many square feet you got over there? We have, uh, right now, 11,000 square feet. Wow, that's pretty good. And... Uh, you have a lot of pros and top amateurs training there. I mean, it's like a who's who the list, huh? Yeah, it's uh, pretty amazing. The, you know, the, the talent we do have training in there regularly every day. It's uh, it's it's something to see. It's it's you know, it's great having the gym. Just seeing all these great physiques walk in and out all day. It's a really great treat. You built it, and they came. That's for sure. And you know, it's yeah. fun. <laughs> the funny thing is that you know, uh, who would have known all that talent was up there? Give it. Give us a little idea of who trains there. Well, of course, you know, first and foremost, my wife, Heather Armbrust, who, uh, you know, I think has the greatest woman's physique out there. Um, and Phil Heath, who probably in the men, I think, probably has the greatest physique out there, too. So, I mean, we always joke, wouldn't that be something if, uh, you know, Mr. and Miss Olympia trained out of the same gym, lived in the same town and all that. But uh, That would know, be a lot of publicity for the gym, right? That would be some publicity, but, you know, I'm sure Phil will get there. We'll see if Heather get there yet. She has all the potential in the world, but, you know, she's, um, Heather likes being a, a girl, girly girl, too, so she, you know, she just basically doesn't train in the offseason. Really? Is she, is she that, <laughs> that lazy? No, she's not lazy. She just doesn't, she really doesn't like carrying all the size anymore. Ah, uh, I guess. So she, you know, she shrinks herself down, and then when it's time to get ready, she does her thing and gets ready. She grows into the show, huh? Yeah, she grows into the show. The old Kevin Lavrone method, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got a couple of figure uh, pros out of that gym, too, right? Yes, we have, uh, you know, Heather May French, who right. is, I think just um, became one of your athletes. Yeah, she's a species athlete, yeah. Yeah, she's, a, she's a, a great addition to your team. Just a wonderful person, sweet, you know, and uh, just, you know, just I think she is great so i'll just leave it at that <laughs> <laughs> we all agree we have uh rachel cammon who uh, won the usa's last year she won her class and then we have a uh, taylor waltrip too who just won the U won her class at usa's this year so don't you have another one vicarelli that's what's her name uh sonia vicarelli she's yeah. a bikini pro yeah 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 she's a hot one too yeah I saw J.M. shooting uh, Sonya and Heather at the pool. I was like, uh, I didn't want to leave. It was 100 degrees, and I was standing out there sweating, and that's not like it. That's not usual uh, standard protocol for Dave Palumbo. Well, little Heather May French runs a little, uh, she does a posing class every Sunday at 2 at our gym. And oh, really? It's like there's women just, you know, a ton of women, and they're walking around in their bikinis and their suits and they the guys, I mean, it's it's kind of becoming a hot time for the guys to train on Sunday. Yeah, tell me about it. It really <laughs> sucks having all those hot women in the gym, right? Right. Now, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing here, because we're doing a, a leg workout, and your leg workouts have become somewhat uh, notorious. Uh, I've heard a few people tell me that uh, uh, a lot of people wind up in the bathroom puking at the end of your workouts. So, <laughs> well, number one, what makes them so intense? And number two, uh, give me the uh, the whole theory behind your training. Right. My training is just, you know, I learned one way and it's, you know, kind of like 100% or nothing. And uh, kind of old-fashioned. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but, you know, there is a little bit of a theory behind it. I, I'm into uh, kind of, if you can put it together, but just high volume, but heavy weight. The old Ronnie Coleman method. Exactly. So it's like, you know, you, you throw 400 pounds on the bar and you do 20 reps with it, you know, with a squat. You know, um, just lots of volume but with lots of weight mm -hmm. and always in control yeah and I see you guys going all the way down too which you don't see very often anymore either no I don't think uh, they even know how to do that anymore <laughs> I don't think they even squat on the west coast anymore do they you're, you're, a, you're an enigma actually in uh, Colorado there probably yeah I think it stops at the state line <laughs> <laughs> um, were you originally from Colorado 
Um, yeah, I was raised in Colorado. I was born in California for the first five years of my life, but then was raised in uh, Arvada, Colorado, yeah. Now, is it harder to squat uh, at altitude over there, or do you get used to it? You know, it's where I learned to squat, and I, I don't really notice a difference unless, you know, you know, we go on vacation, I come back, and the first week back, yeah, I'm feeling it, but after about a week, you get used to it, but... um. I remember training for shows and stuff back in the day to where, I mean, you literally feel like your lungs, you're just, you taste blood in your lungs, you're just breathing that <laughs> in. Is it really that bad? Yeah, it gets bad, especially the intense training. I mean, just, it's nuts. I remember, uh, who was it? Um, oh, Melvin Anthony came up, it was like five years back, and he's tried squatting four plates. <laughs> I think he did two reps, put it on the rack, and was like, I can't breathe, and that's no 400 pounds, that's 600 pounds. <laughs> so it feels heavier, too, huh? Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, I remember they had the USA uh, in uh, Denver in 95, uh, and people were dropping on stage, like, left and right. I mean, it was, it was pretty funny, you know. It's just, yeah. you can't get your breath, and almost... Yeah, do you, I mean, did you notice anything when you come up here and train at all? Or? Um, I never trained up there. I, I competed up there. The only time I've been there was when I, for the 95 USA. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a little, you know, your body, I don't know, the, the exertion on stage is not that great that I was really, you know, feeling it, feeling it. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I, I was a long-distance runner for many years, so I, I'm, like, used to oxygen debt. Like, I, I just, I can maybe take it better than other people can. Uh, right. But I saw some people, like, gasping for air. Like, they just couldn't get enough, you know. Uh and like I said, I'm sure your red blood cell counts are real high just because of the fact that you're training at altitude. Absolutely, yeah. Do you notice when you come down to, to the sea level that you're actually able to train better with more endurance? Well, every time I'm at sea level lately, I don't train. So. Oh, you're like me. You're going to a show or something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, but uh, no, I, I, I don't, I, it, you know, I don't notice it, so I don't know what the big deal is, but like I said, um, I don't know. I'm watching the, uh, you know, you're squatting right now, and there's, uh, there's, a, there's an awful lot of plates on that bar. Uh, what, how much are, the, are these 40, standard 45-pound plates you should be squatting? Yeah, they're just standard 45-pound plates, yes. And uh, how heavy will you normally go on a, on a typical squat workout? You know, I normally go up to just, you know, five plates a side, which is, you know, a little shy of 500. Right. And, you know, I, I will stop at 10 reps because I just, anything over 10 reps now at, you know, my age, it, you know, stuff starts popping and flying all over the room. Yeah, so. I hear what you're saying. So you try to keep your form real strict, and when it starts breaking down, you stop pretty much. Exactly. You know, you know, when I go down the four plates, I can, I can push it a little bit more, but I still, you know, about 20 reps is tops there. So Now, now when you're, uh, you say at your age, are you over 40 yet? No, I'm 38, but oh, it's, man. I've Come really on. noticed just from 35 to 38, the past three years are probably, I've aged the most I've ever aged in my okay. life. because you got a business now, that's why. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> it's a responsibility, I feel the same way. Do you uh, plan on competing again? You know, I, I probably am not going to ever compete again for the simple fact that I want to, you know, get into the more of the, you know, just the business fact of it and maybe someday help maybe promote a show something like that i i, I want to just help you know i love bodybuilding I've, it's given me a lot i just want it's time for me to just give back and you know try make, to make make a few bucks make, from it too yeah yeah exactly now uh plus you have uh, you have heather you can live vicariously through anyway right you know yeah that's as close <laughs> to the olympia stage as i will ever get <laughs> i know the feeling don't worry about it colette was on the olympia <laughs> stage and uh, that was the closest i got as well but uh, it's it's nice having it, you know. It really is. It's it's exciting, and uh, I love it. And it's uh, it, it's a great experience. I'm not going to tell you it's not. How many people do you train a day typically? Well, today was a heavy day for me. I, I took nine in today, but a normal day I try to keep around just you know six or seven. And and that's full hour sessions. Full hour sessions. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of yeah. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's work, but you know, I I got a great clientele, and uh, you know, I. You know, I just, I don't have anybody that sits there and you're like, oh boy, counting the clock. It's, you know, everybody's working hard and, right. you know, everybody's got a purpose and it makes my, makes it a lot more enjoyable when you're working with people like that. Do you have a, is, is your gym a big personal training gym or is it mostly just an open gym? We have uh, probably 15 personal trainers. Oh, that's a lot. And uh, they just, you know, they work for themselves and they just... Um, you charge them rent? Exactly. But it's a good deal because, you know, they're in charge of their whole businesses. And, right. You know, as long as they're conducting, you know, 
business in the right manner and being professional about it, they're welcome. Wow, so you, you got that's a pretty good deal up there. Most gyms aren't doing that anymore, you know. That's no, like the old-fashioned way of doing it, you know. Yeah, you got the, the greedy... Yeah. The greedy corporate, you know, corporate world. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> now, I see you laying on the floor here. You must... Uh, did you hurt yourself or are you, like, just exhausted? No, you know, I'm trying to go in it.